Welcome back to 25 Sweepies. It's been a while, but today we are finally going to have another nail art basics video. And before we get any further in the seri series, I thought it would be important to go over a nail care routine. We haven't officially had a nail care video, so I'm kind of just going to talk you through my process, different products that I like, and take any questions at the end. If you want to leave any in the comments, I will respond to you before the week is over. So here we go. First up, I never cut my nails. I know that sounds like cringy at first, but I don't cut my nails because I only file them. When you cut them, you're fracturing your nail bed and then it's they're more prone to breaking and cracking and peeling. So I always file them. And I have recently found in like the past year or so that I love a glass file. I used to always like hate the thought of the sound of glass in a nail. But I re like got over that really quickly whenever I found out how nice they are. I like to use the Heroine NYC one. So good. It has, um, comes in this nice little case that mine is now gross and icky. But it is glass on both sides. Like you can file on both. I know some have like a shiny side that you can't file on. But this one you can file on both. And it just makes it so easy to use. You can rinse them off and basically use them for a very long time. I've at least been using it for like a year and a half now. Absolutely love it. And the great thing about a glass one is, you know, whenever you file your nail, you get like, oh, I don't know what you would call them, almost like, how many times can I say like, um, a weird flimsy bit that hangs off the edge of your nail whenever you normally file, but with a glass file, you don't get that as much, which is really nice. Because when you get those with a regular nail file, you kind of have to go in with like a buffer and go the opposite way to get them to come off. But glass files, you don't have that as much. And then for rounding my square corners, because I don't like to get them caught on things, I use a flowery file from Ulta. This is their, I don't know the name of it because I don't think I have any packages. But one side is yellow and one side is green. The green will take off more. And this one is really just a light smoothing side. So I really like this one. It is good for quick touch-ups. And like I said, it's really good for rounding your corners. After a file, I usually go in with a cuticle remover. This I just do around the top part of my nail. And actually, this is like a trick. If you have stained nails, you can put this all over your nail. And it usually helps lift the stain off your nail, which is really nice without hurting your nail. Anyway, so I use the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. This is really good. I've had this for a really long time. And just now am I getting down to like here. So it's worth it. It takes off any like skin that is staying on your nail once you've pushed your cuticles back. And I find it really helpful. Also, a new one that I haven't used very much because it is new to me is the Glisten and Glow Cuticle Remover Pen. So they have one now and... I really like it so far. This is actually going to be available during the September polish pickup, but they also have it on their website now. But here's a look at it. It, I believe this one is actually scented. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention when I used it. But cuticle remover pen from Glisten and Glow. So if you're picking up a Topco or new polishes, you might snag this into your order too. Then after I've done the cuticle removing, I always go over with nail polish remover or water just to get all of that off my nail. And then if my nails are really dry or the skin around my nails is really dry, I go in with cuticle oils. Cuticle oils are your best friend. I use them all the time. I have one in every bag. I have one in my backpack that I carry around. I have one in my computer bag. I have one in my purse. Granted, my backpack and purse are like the same thing right now. But cuticle remover pens are my favorite. I do have a fair share of like favorite bottle ones. Painted Phalanges has a really good bottle cuticle remover. Cuticle remover. Cuticle oil that I really do like. But it is in a bottle and I forgot to bring it over here. But it's in her normal size bottle and it has a big wide brush, which is really nice for pushing it back into your cuticles because it really covers the whole nail. But talking about the remover pen, the I keep calling it a remover, the cuticle oil pen. These are just great for travel and to put everywhere. The Glisten and Glow has a great one. All of these work the same. You twist up the side and then the oil goes into the brush that you guys see here and then you can use it to go 
around on your cuticle. And you could also do like in the inside of your nail, which is really helpful. And there's Glisten and Glow. Then there is the Stella Chroma, which I love hers. I have it in the scent Cranberry Salsa. It smells really nice. And then, sorry about the noise. Um, different dimensions, there's a really nice too. And the same concept as all the ones that I've shown you. You twist, goes in the brush, you put it on. I love it. So easy. And they don't leak, which I really like because as I said earlier, I keep one in my backpack that is my purse. I keep one in my computer bag, which has electronics. So I mean, you really want to be careful with something like that. So the fact that it doesn't leak is really good and important to me. So after that, if I'm going to paint my nails, of course, I have to go like once it is all soaked in, I like to go rinse off my nails or use nail polish remover to get those oil oils off so I still can paint my nails. But let's say we're not painting our nails and my hands are really dry. Maybe it's the winter because your hands get really dry in the winter. I have found that I love, love, love the Naked Manicure. Well, it's a two-part system and the lotion is called the Naked Manicure Healing Body and Hand Cream. And then this spray is called the Hydrating Hand and Body Serum. So what you do is if your hands are really dry, you spray like one pump of this on to your hands rub it in it feels really nice this doesn't have a scent but it's very very hydrating and after you've done that use lotion to lock it in and it will really help your hands i also love to use this on my feet because i wear flip-flops basically all year and they do get dry so these are really good quick answers to quick hydration which is important <laughs> so there's that whole system. But my next thing is something that I use basically every night, if not every other day. I use it all over. I use it in the shower, but mainly I do use this product on my nails, and that is a sugar scrub. I have told you guys numerous times how much I love sugar scrubs, I think. But I swatch a lot, and sometimes you have glitter all over your hands. Sugar scrubs are the answer. Sometimes your nails are really dry. Sugar scrubs are the answer. Everything leads me back to sugar scrubs, apparently. And I love them. So we're going to go over some mainstream ones you can go out to the stores and buy. And then some indie ones that I love. So most commonly found is the Tree Hut collection. They have a ton at Ulta. My favorite scent that is kind of new is their Belize Breeze. It smells amazing. But you get a ton in these. I mean, this is 18 ounces. And it's about $7, I think at Ulta, but recently Target has them too, and they actually have some of these new seasonal scents, and I want to say they're $5.99 there, which is even better than Ulta, which is really nice. Love these. A little bit goes a long way too, and as you guys can see, this is like a massive size container, so it's going to last you a really long time. And you can use these in the shower as well. I've not had any issues with like making the bottom floor sticky or anything. I actually use the Brazilian nut in there, and it smells like a baked good which is probably not a good thing but it smells so good and this one is just very tropical and I love it and then the next one that is kind of it is a mass-produced thing you can't necessarily buy it in stores but that would be the Zoya Smart Spa Cutica sugar scrubs these come in so many different scents I actually did a video on these a while ago so I will link that down below if you guys want to these are really nice. These are also good to keep in the shower. These have a different texture than the other ones that I'll be showing you and the one that I just showed you. They almost have more of like a gel-like feel to it, but it does work really well. The sugar is sparser, I would also say, but still, it's really nice. And this is one that I do prefer to use in the shower because I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So if I'm using it in the shower, I can use it all over. So there's that. And then one of my recenter favorites is the Unicorn Magic one. I have the scent Sun and Sand, and this one is really nice. It is a very fine sugar too, like really fine. I don't think you can see that, but very, very fine. So it really gets into your whole cuticle area, helps get all the loose skin away, and just clean off your nails. Definitely if you've had a glitter on. Perfect for the holiday season coming up, right? Because I don't know about you, but I use a lot more glitter towards Christmas. Okay, the last two are from Stella Chroma. One is not necessarily one that I always use. I use this one on the occasion. Say I've had like really, really dry skin. I have found that a coffee body scrub does really, really well on your hands. 
and that is this one it's actually called a coffee body polish but I love it it works perfectly it is a very big granules inside I'm not gonna tip it too much because it is kind of loose but it just smells good I mean your bathroom is gonna smell like a coffee shop which I'm all about and it is just really really nice so there's that and this is like a big container this is the nine ounce again a little bit's gonna go a long way and this would also be a really good one to use in the shower and if you didn't want coffee before using it you're definitely gonna want it afterwards and then the final one is actually the normal emulsified sugar scrub from Stella Chroma. I love these. She has like been releasing different scents every month with the polish pickup indie pickup thing. This one is the scent uh, pineapple and brown sugar. This is one of her like normal collection ones. Sorry, I bumped the stand. Um, this is a normal. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like brown sugar and pineapple which we had on pancakes the other day so good yeah this smells amazing and this is actually like a really good fall scent so if you're looking for something a little bit more fall related as it's coming up um you might want to go with this one but I think that covers it all I feel like I rushed through all that so if you guys have any questions as to what else I use in my nail care routine Really, it's just important to remember to look after your nails. I think cuticle oil makes the world of a difference. That is definitely like my number one tool. Not really a tool, but you get what I mean. It's like my number one thing to use in my nail care routine and also a glass file. I haven't cut my nails in, I don't know, probably since I started Instagram, honestly. Uh, ever since starting Instagram, I've paid way more attention. I've been really careful with my nails and I don't think I've cut them since before them. Filing for me has been the way to go. So I would definitely recommend doing that. I'd recommend getting a glass file. I feel like I've had this one for a really long time, but it still does a perfect job. So I don't know if I'll get a new one anytime soon. I maybe will, maybe I won't. This one is going on probably it's second full year because it's towards the end of the year i don't know i feel like this i've at least used it for a year and a half but i'm thinking it's probably more along the lines of two years long lasting and i will put the link to this one down below because it is my favorite but yeah i think that is it if you guys have any questions or concerns or other things you want to know about that might be related to a nail care routine let me know and I will answer those. Also, I'm thinking that we need to kind of just wrap up this whole like early stage of the nail basics series and maybe have a whole Q&A video where you guys ask anything about what we've covered already. So those could be answered before we move on to techniques and different mediums and whatnot. But I'm really excited about all of this and I hope you guys are too. I have teased on Instagram a little bit about something new that is coming and it is coming probably towards the end of this week. Basically, I'm creating a new part on 25sweepies.com that is going to be called 25 Sweepies Vault and it is going to include a whole bunch of freebie downloads for those of you that are subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram or at least do one of the above. We might have two different levels of access. That is still like undetermined, but we're gonna have free downloads in there that you guys can download, print out, or use depending on what they are. But I'm super excited about it. It's in the process of launching as I launch other new things that are coming really soon that I'm really excited about. And I know I'm being cryptic, but it's just a lot. I'm really excited and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I think that is officially it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye.